Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Welcome to our iPad Monthly. We're up to lesson three of our coding edition um, of the iPad Monthly magazine this month. And we're kind of starting to build up a little bit in regard to the complexity of the concepts that we're learning. Not necessarily the complexity of the code, um, but we're starting to look at some maths concepts that we're integrating with code and, and they're a little bit more complex. So this is kind of aimed at the grade four, five, six kind of area. We're going to hit on new project. We're using the Tickle app here. I'm going to go down to the Orca. The Orca is just the templates for building an interactive type um, animation. And it opens it up with some preset code. We're just going to touch and drag that code and get rid of it. Um, and let me just explain what we're going to do here. We're going to get our little Orca whale to actually swim um, a full 360 degrees. And we're going to try and do it in a natural way. So the first thing that you could actually do is you could actually say, OK, I want to set the, uh, let's go, make a right turn at 90 degrees. And we could do four of those really, really simple and, and clearly that would actually turn 360 degrees. But what it actually does is it does it very quickly and it does it in a very much a robotic, you can actually see there, it hardly did any wait time. Um, so I can hardly actually see it. So what we're going to do it is in a, in a little bit more of a natural type um, way here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do get our orca to move, say, 10 steps. Uh, I'll just separate that code. And then we're actually going to get our orca to actually turn by just 10 degrees. So if we actually join that up and we actually press play, you can see that he's just moved a little bit. He's taken some 10 steps and he's moved. Um, so that's all great, but what we actually want it to do is a full 360. And this is where some of the maths concepts actually come in. So what we can actually do is go down to our controls and we can bring in the repeat. So if I bring in my repeat and say it repeats that process 10 times, how does that look? Oh, that's looking a little bit better. And then we can actually build in some maths and say, okay, 10 degrees, we want to do a whole 360. So why don't we actually do this 36 times? So 36 times 10 degrees is 360. And hopefully what we've got there, I'll just move my orca over here a little bit, is a little bit more of a natural 360. Absolutely beautiful. That works really, really naturally. I'll stop that, do that again. Fantastic. So what we've got there is simple code exploring angles, degrees, and also our repeats and getting our kids to test, 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 which is a great thing to do. And what we can actually do there is I'll just stop it and I'll bring in um, some more characters. So why don't I bring in some rocks and what we can actually say to our kids, all right, we've got that, that's working beautifully. How can we introduce some codes, I'll flick that out of the way, to get our whale to swim around the rocks and back again. So actually bringing in some challenge. So after you've actually done that code and you've shown them how to get it moving um, in different ways, actually pose the mathematical kind of problem, if you like, of how can I get my whale to actually swim around the rocks and back again in a natural kind of movement. And what we're doing then is we're getting our kids to apply the skills they have in a different context, which is really, really powerful. So I hope you really enjoyed that. That's a great way of getting kids um, introduced to code and actually consolidating some really great maths concepts along the way. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.